welcome back in our previous section we spoke about data structures and algorithms in which we talk about arrays topic uh, we discussed in theoretically like how array is uh, stored in memory how you can access using index of the array the elements uh, within array and also we, we, we talk about like uh, the operations like accessing modifying and deleting an element within array and also we discussed about uh, time complexity for accessing element in an array modifying elements and also inserting element and deleting element so now we'll talk about and we'll see hands on how it works using golang okay so in golang i just created one function one one file a main dot go file in which actually we'll start uh, discussing and uh, taking care of how the operations on array can be done Okay, I will just create main function. In uh, Golang, actually, arrays and slices both are there. Since we need to resize uh, an uh, array during modification, during inserting an element to within an array. So because of that, what we will do is we'll try to create a slice. Okay, slice can be created like this and uh, you can insert elements like one okay so i'm just trying to uh, create a slide here slice here this is how actually we are declaring and uh, declaration and uh, init of slice basically array both are our main focus is like a, uh, our main focus is on see the what kind of operations we can do on arrays and uh, the time complexity of accessing and modifying inserting and deleting an element within an array this is these are the our main uh, discussion as part of this session right so yes here what we can do is we will try to print what our elements we have okay uh, print ln we'll try to print array elements basically can use percentage of v for that we can use array okay we are just trying to print array elements okay <coughs> and uh, this is just declaration and installation and we are just printing the array elements then how to access an element okay accessing elements in an array so it's a very simple if you know index currently what we will do is we'll try to access at uh, position 2 okay element dot so what we can do is Okay, our array of two. So this is the uh, time complexity of accessing an element is uh, basically of one only because constant time. If you know the index, then uh, at one instruction only you can get that one, right? And modifying an element. 
let us see like uh, how it looks like now were able to access or not yes element if you see 1 2 3 4 5 and element at index 2 is 0 1 2 that is 3 okay so now what we will do is we will insert and uh, we will modify it we will try to modify it modifying elements so what we will do this also will take uh, of one time complexity only because if you know the index then it is easy just uh, try to change the value at at position 2 okay let us print these values after modifying element at index okay try to print array again so in this case if you run this code <coughs> after modifying if you see the position at 2 it becomes 6 now okay now let us insert an element inserting an element at position 2 okay so what we will do is we will see that index is 2 okay value i can say we can insert 7 okay this is actually what we will do is we will try to do append array of index okay comma append integer value whatever new value we are trying to insert okay and then array of index all elements basically okay so in this line actually we are trying to okay so we are just trying to insert uh, the value 7 at the position 2 again we are appending uh, remaining values actually that's it okay so this is insertion this will take uh, the time complexity of o of n because we need to shift actually all the elements from the position 2 to remaining all the elements actually okay now what we will do is fmt dot printer after inserting 7 at index 2 okay the values are or okay let us uh, see this uh, print values and then see like how it will be working the inserted value if you observe this actually if you see this uh, slice size become 6 now and the element previously element is at uh, 6 it is shifted one position now it become like a third position right okay let's move on and check the this is the time complexity of open because we are shifting elements actually and let's try to delete operation let's do the deleting operation at position again 2 okay uh, normally this uh, time complexity also open we discussed theoretically also sometime back in the previous sessions 
now we will see in uh, index again right equal to 2 now error equal to append of error of index comma index plus 1 and all other elements okay. now if you try to print this don't print uh, after deleting at index two Let's print these values and check it out how the, all the operations will be working over. If you see elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is there. While accessing the element at index 2, you are receiving 3 at O of 1 time complexity. After modifying element at index 2, we are modifying it to 2. Again, modifying again takes O of n time complexity only. Then the modified result is like this. And after uh, inserting 7 at index 2, inserting that, this will actually take O of n time com complexity because we need to shift all the elements from the position 2. So if you see that 1, 2, 7 inserted at position 2 and remaining values are shifted one position. A deleting element, once we delete the particular position, we are deleting element at uh, second position. So after deletion actually position uh, second position again we need to sync all the elements so that's why it will take again warp and complexity so overall this is about arrays and uh, arrays operations and uh, what is the time complexity to do any operation on uh, arrays thank you